Kathmandu, India. And our 10th semi-finalist is India. Congratulations. Thank you so much, Steve. What did you say to me just now? I said namaste. You must stay? Namaste. I greeted you in, in, in English. Oh, okay. I thought you said you must stay. I said, well, you only got a minute. Oh. I hear you do some pretty good animal impersonations. Yeah, they got that question. Let's hear, let's hear your best one. Oh, my God, Steve. I was not expecting to do this on world stage, um, but I have to do this. I have no other option. Um, I love cats. I love animals. I would love to mimic a cat. Brace yourself, everyone. But I have to say this, Steve, that, you know, this talent made me realize that we should never compromise with our hobbies because that can lead to your dream career. Yeah. Thank you. I'm still stuck on the cat sound. Thank you very much. Well, there they are, five more of our top 16. Let's check in with our correspondents, Carson, uh, Chesley. Your thoughts on these five? India. Moving on to our next round is India. I'm Harnaz Sandhu, Miss Universe India. Well, I'm doing masters in public administration because I'm the youth of my country and I'm keen to know what's happening in my country and how it's administrated. Along with that, I'm an actor and a model, and I've done two Punjabi regional movies. And through following my passion of acting, I would like to inspire people by choosing strong characters and breaking stereotypes and stigmas. Well, my mother is my best friend. She's a gynecologist, and she has multitasked her life and broken the stereotype of patriarchy system in my community. And now I'm looking forward to take the legacy home. India. The fifth, India. Well, everybody, we've gone from 80 delegates to 16 to 10. And now we reveal the five remaining contestants who still have a chance to wear the most desired crown in, well, the universe. First in the final five is India. India has a degree in information technology and is currently pursuing her master's degree. Joining her is... Well, we're back at Miss Universe, everybody, and it's about to get real for our top five. This is the selection panel question round, which is how this prestigious committee will determine the final three. Each contestant is hearing their question for the first time, and each one has only one shot to answer. No second chances, no do-overs, no mulligans. The way this round works 
is the contestants will randomly select a name of selection panel member. That member will then ask a question. After the delegate answers, the next woman's call will come forward and select who they want to ask their question. Uh, you've all got 30 seconds to answer, and when your time is up, you will hear this sound. All right, interpreters will be provided uh, to those who require one. So let's do it. Everybody ready? <laughs> India is first. Okay, your question comes from Rena. Hi, Miss India. Hi, Miss Rena. <laughs> Many people think climate change is a hoax. What would you do to convince them otherwise? Honestly, my heart breaks to see how nature is going through a lot of problems, and it's all due to our irresponsible behavior. And I totally feel that this is the time to take actions and talk less, because our each action could either kill or save nature. Prevent and protect is better than repent and repair, and this is what I'm trying to convince you guys today. Thank you. Thank you. The second woman still in the competition is India. <laughs> India, please join me. Here is the question. What advice would you give to young women watching on how to deal with the pressures they face today? Well, I think the biggest pressure the youth of today is facing is to believe in themselves. Two, know that you are unique and that's what makes you beautiful. Stop comparing yourselves with others and let's talk about more important things that's happening worldwide. I think this is what you need to understand. Come out, speak for yourself because you are the leader of your life. You are the voice of your own. I believed in myself and that's why I'm standing here today. Thank you. Thank you. Let's hear it one more time for our top three. 
Carson, Chesley, your thoughts. Congratulations, Portugal. Jesus. Well, y'all said Portugal. They, they wrote Portugal on the damn sign trying to play me again. They're trying to get me again, but I'm not going for it this year. Congratulations, Paraguay. They had Portugal on the damn sign. I looked dead at it. Y'all saw it. Don't try to blame this on me this year. Ladies, Paraguay and India, please step forward. <laughs> Only one of you is about to become Miss Universe. If for any reason the winner is unable to fulfill her duties, the first runner up will take her place. Good luck to both of you. This universe is India. your first walk as Miss Universe. Universe. What an amazing night with so many magical moments. It's such an honor for all of us to be a part of this. Congratulations. Thank you to all of our contestants, to all of our selection panel, and especially thanks to all of you, our fans at home. Good, Good night, night, everybody. The official airline of the 70th Miss Universe pageant in Elat, Israel. Flights to Israel were in partnership with El Al, the official air carrier of the Miss Universe pageant.